This episode of GP Core Content is on Chilesian. It's a bit of an easy one, but hey, we'll take what we can get, and it's all kind of fair game, I think. It's brought to you by GP Core Content, i.e. me. And if you like this, buy the book. It's on iTunes. It's called KFP Questions and Answers in Ophthalmology, and the idea of the book is that it defines every single possible KFP question, and more importantly, answer key for every single possible question in ophthalmology. Edition one's out now, and edition two will be out in a few weeks. So the case for today, we've got William, he's a 35-year-old man who presents with a uh, painless lump in his right upper eyelid that he's had for about two weeks. It's enlarged so much that it's just starting to um, impair his vision just from the size of it. In terms of background, Chalazians are basically formed from meibomian glands. So the function of meibomian glands is to produce something called mebum to lubricate the eye. If this gets blocked and swollen, that then turns into something called a meibomian cyst. If that gets inflamed and gets granuloma formation in it, then that's a Chalazian. What are the key features of history in Chalazian? So the features of history you might see are that the patient has noticed swelling it's painful, irritative, it can get infected, and it can distort vision if it gets large enough. What are the key features of examination in Chalazian? The key features are swelling on the eyelid or the eyelid margin, possible infection with erythema. What are the causes of Chalazian? So I guess the underlying causes or disease associations with Chalazian are things like blepharitis and eczema, anything that's going to lead to increased mybum production um, by the mybomian glands there. Um, the exact pathophysiological process is basically, like we said before, blockage of the mybomian gland itself, uh, leading to swelling, uh, granuloma formation. What are the differentials if you saw that presentation? So differentials of a Chalazian might include a sty, any other kind of granuloma that might occur in the eye, or um, maybe a tumour as well. What are the investigations you could do in Chalazian? So really, there kind of aren't any. Um, if you were it's going to excise it anyway, you might, you might want to send it off by biopsy if you're concerned about a tumour. But generally speaking, it's a clinical diagnosis. What's the management of Chalazian? So you've got a couple of different management options for Chalazian. You can do the no treatment approach and it may take two to six months to improve. You can do hot compresses, so 10 minutes a day, four times a day, with the idea being to soften the, the granuloma and allow it to drain. After you do hot compress, you can do massage. So you can either use a clean finger or a cotton bud and do that in the direction of the lashes to try and promote uh, excretion there. Uh, if you've got that bleph blepharitis component, you can do eyelid hygiene the same as you do in blepharitis, just twice a day. And antibiotics really don't help in Chalazian. And if it gets large enough, like it has in this case, uh, you can consider referring to ophthalmology uh, for surgical excision. What are the complications of Chalazian? So it may recur, and it's more likely to recur if you have those underlying diseases such as blepharitis or eczema, and it may get infected and go on to become a sty or hordolium. References for this presentation are as such. And if you like this, consider buying the book and iBooks, please. <laughs> um, it's just come out today and first edition's out it's on itunes and ibooks and available for download and again the point of that book is to try and define every single possible question in this discipline and then every single possible answer key for that question uh, within the discipline as well that's it thanks for watching and listening and i'll talk to you soon